All right. This is Sebastian Mendel Martinez, MMA Night here with Gunnar Nelson, who faces Gilbert Burns at UFC Copenhagen. Uh, so, the UFC debuts in Copenhagen, and it's almost seven years to the day since you made your pro debut also in Copenhagen uh, to a kind of controversial draw. Uh, is that something that you thought about, that you're in some sense coming back to where you started your MMA career? Um, yeah, well, I started here. That was 2007. I believe um, my first fight, and uh, it was uh, it's kind of funny because when I remember, I remember my friends and my my, my uh, training partners and stuff asking me if I if I liked uh, if I liked and I was gonna do this MMA for a living, and and I'd never fought, and I was like I don't know, I'm, I'm you know I'm gonna I'm, we'll have this fight and then we'll see, and then it was a tough back and forth fight, you know, draw, and then after it I was like. Hells yeah! This is this is what I want to do. You know, this is awesome, and and it just it just made all the training so much more enjoyable as well, and and it made it kind of I'm not gonna say like worth a while, worth the training, or but it, still in a way it like put all the puzzles together and and, and just you know. Yeah, sorry, 2007, not seven years ago. My math is off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you were going to face Thiago Alves, former title challenger, a pretty big name. He has to pull out, and then you get Gilbert Burns. How do you feel about that change in opponent? Because name value is perhaps not as big, uh, so it's a bit riskier in that sense. And style-wise, also a bit different. So what do you make of the opponent change? Well, originally, Thiago pulled out. That was about two weeks out, and it looked pretty scary, you know? So then... I don't know, like a day or two days after, uh, Gilbert said he would take the fight, and I said yes, because uh, I was just scared that we wouldn't have anybody taking the fight, and and to get a the opponent like Gilbert is awesome, you know, like to to get any opponent would have been great, but Gilbert is a great opponent, so uh, I was very happy that he he, he stepped up and. Um, and I think, to be honest, it's an even more exciting matchup. Uh, in what way do you think it's more exciting? Because, I mean, I think more mainstream fans will be used to Thiago Galvez, the pit bull, the Thai boxer. Uh, why do you think this fight is more interesting? Because me, for one, I've, I've had loads of grappler versus striker matchups. Uh, and I've seen them as well loads of times. And I mean, they're, they're a classic. But I think this one here is more rare to have two, you know, class, class jiu-jitsu guys go at each other um, in MMA that, you know, we've b both been around for a while. And I just think it's, to me, it's more interesting. And, and, and if I was on the sidelines looking in, it would be a lot more exciting matchup than, than the other one. Uh, Yesterday, a UFC employee gave us some statistics that Burns has never allowed a grappling advance from his opponents on him so far. What do you feel about that? And does that perhaps excite you? That that's a challenge, or you can be the first one to put him in bad positions on the ground? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I didn't know that, but that is a challenge, yeah. <laughs> and overall, what do you make of Burns? Because, you know, he started off very strong in the UFC, I and mean, then he switched weight classes, he had some ups and downs, now he's back at... Uh, and now he's back. How do you feel about you know the way his career has gone in the UFC and him overall? I, uh, to be honest, I haven't really followed his career that much, like uh, from from the start or anything. But uh, I know his last few fights, and he, he's looked pretty good, and and most of them. And um, um, I know he's coming up a weight. Uh, whether he's going to stay or not, I'm not sure, but. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think he's got a great skill set, and uh, and I think he could do good, you know. Um, other than that, I, I don't really, I haven't really uh, followed him that much, you know. But and what would you say is the key to defeating him? To defeat him, um, there's there's many options, you know. But uh, which option is your favorite? My favorite, well, my favorite would be getting a submission with. It's a big uh, statement against somebody like Gilbert Burns. Uh, 
But you know, he's crafty. He's he, he's gonna be tough. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, many ways to go about it. And if Gunnar Nelson gets his way, it will be a submission over a very skilled grappler. Thank you very much, and good luck in the fight.